Hey y'all, it's me. Welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. We're on the chapter Separation. When I said, oh shit, I can't do this, I was thinking of a different chapter, but this one's interesting. I'm saying it in that voice because I don't think that's actually true. Ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm recording. This is Jody past her shitty emo stage, question mark. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what this is now. Can you see anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Why would I lie here? I saw a little girl. It's true, Aiden's power. Everyone knows it. It was her music box. Laura. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell. Nathan! Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says, you know what it's oh, about? Oh, shit. This is the fucking... All right, you guys can just see. This fucking chapter yes. is messed up. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, precious baby. Oh, shit. Sorry, I was looking at my cat. I was not paying attention to the game. I think I chose the fucking music box last time, and now I wish I had chosen that tissue box. Is that one of the objects? Oops. Listen. I never got around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Hey, where are you going? Aren't you gonna wait for Nathan? What the? That was weird. What's what's going on, Nathan? You you look upset. I didn't saw a bitch. Don't pretend. CIA. The agents. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Day. What about the experiments? I thought we were working together. I'm sorry, Jody. It's out of my hands. I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. She's crying already. Oh shit. Um Oh, so that's just it. You know what's best and I I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus. Listen, patriarchy. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting. All right? You can rant and rave all you want, but just shut your mouth and do as you're told. Insult. Go. Fuck yourself. Oh my god. Let's go. Come here. Do this for me. I'm 
I'll go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. This is the best part of the chapter. You're crying the whole time. You fucking get your shit from your room. Is there anything on here that I need? What are the essentials? I guess she has no essentials in her fucking living room. Your guitar. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Don't pick that up. Oh, thank God. I almost, I almost fucking touched it. <sighs> Lay on your bed and cry. That's what we all gotta do, girl. You can't lay on the bed and cry. <sighs> this game sucks. Seriously, where are the things I can pick up? N none of these things? It's fucked up they have fucking cameras in her bedroom. How is she gonna masturbate? This is fucked up. I like that smiley face though. Damn, dude. There's something over here? Just fuck everything up, Aiden. Can't fuck up the TV and... Oh my god, my cat just got off my lap and she's in the fucking way of the TV. I can't see like half the screen. I can't believe I don't have any button prompts. I can't do anything. I guess just leave. Fuck this life. Oh wait, I figured it out, you guys. I put the things in the bag. I'm fucking dumb. Obviously taking Mr. Bunny or whatever. That's an essential item. That's an awful picture, but I'll take it. Can't see shit. I had another prompt over here. Move. Just crying the whole fucking time. All right, we're done crying now.
Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to take it with me. I wanted to fucking... <sighs> I hate this game. So this episode is just going to be a lot of me sitting in silence and her crying. But what more could you want? What more could you really want? Oh, wait. No, take that. So I, I took everything I possibly could, basically. Trying to get comfy. I come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. Now you ain't crying, bitch. All right, let's see what I fucking did. Told Dawkins what you saw. Threatened Clayton. Hell yeah. Spied. Wow, fun. So I fucked up that room for no reason. Ugh, the dinner. I hate this fucking episode. Although it's interesting juxtaposition between the last episode of him thinking of the correct episode. got my email what what, wait, what what email the one I sent three days ago you know I've I've actually been having problems with my computer what what was the email about dinner tonight fancy restaurant <laughs> anyway it, it's too late now so maybe another time shit shit I'm so sorry I you know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Fuck you, Ryan. Like I said... I almost said Ellie again. <laughs> Jody is gay or asexual in my playthrough. So her excitement about the dinner, she doesn't know she's gay yet. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship.